What I'd like to do is give an overview of Preactor software as it's generally understood and as you'll generally find it if you do preliminary searches on the web. It is considered APS or Advanced Production Scheduling Software. So you're likely to see it a application such as this, of a manufacturing type application where orders are specified and they run through a number of operations. These orders and operations having been defined can then be automatically scheduled by Preactor which displays the first cut schedule in the form of a Gantt chart showing which operations are to take place and which resources over how much time. This is a first cut schedule, although Preactor has a powerful scheduling engine, it's also a decision support tool and a production scheduler can review this schedule and then perform various what ifs, can drag and drop to resequence operations when eligible to move operations across different resources. And then finally, Preactor is not merely a scheduling engine and a decision support tool, it's a communication tool. And it can be used to create reports in various formats, paper or electronic, that can be distributed to those who need to know, whether that's the supervisors and operators on the shop floor, uh, whether that's the sales and shipping people who need to know exactly when an order is anticipated to complete. So. If you're familiar with advanced production scheduling, this is a more typical use case. And if you're familiar with Preactor specifically, either through direct experience or through research, this is the sort of thing that you'll see. But we're going to go beyond that in this presentation, and we're going to talk about a different sort of use case for Preactor, and that would be multi-skilled personnel. What if you had a situation where rather than work centers here that have specific production capabilities, you've got personnel who have specific professional skills and they need to be coordinated in order to deliver, hmm, you know, some kind of process, some kind of set of tasks that need to take place in sequence. And the particular use case that we're going to look at in terms of multi-skilled personnel are trainers. This is going to draw from an implementation that PMC did recently, and you may say, oh, this is directly applicable to a scenario that I have in my own organization, or you may say, ah, it's not directly applicable, but I can see how there might be other pools of skilled resources whom I want to schedule and coordinate in an analogous manner. So let's explore this particular use case and look at how PMC's implementation of Preactor is customized to address it. So large enterprises, such as the one we just served, maintain training programs for large groups of personnel who meet changing and specialized needs. Think call centers, think casual dining restaurants, there are a number of enterprises that can have these needs for training where, again, the things that the customer expects, whether it's call center service, whether it's a specific type of meal, it's specialized and it's changing from year to year or season to season. Well, the trainers themselves who train these groups of personnel, the trainers themselves constitute a group of constrained resources who must be assigned and notified of teaching assignments in an orderly way. They want to be prepared in advance to know not just what city they'll be in, but in what room. And they want to have as much lead time as possible to prepare their materials. 
the training rooms must also be allocated according to availability and size. Okay, whether the training room is more of a classroom setting or whether the training room is a training kitchen. You want to make sure that you've got a room for this particular class to convene, and it should be the right size. You don't want to try to cram, you know, a 50-person class into a room with a capacity of 12, and nor do you want most of the time to put, you know, 10 or 12 people in an auditorium that holds 100 or 200. You know, ideally you want, you know, the room to match the class. Now, generally speaking, there's a training scheduler, a person who needs visibility into the current schedule, okay, the capability to add classes to it as they roll onto the schedule, and the flexibility to change it. So, and by the way, these again correspond to the big three, right? Visibility, that's a form of communication, right? Capability to add classes, this is where we rely upon Preactor's scheduling engine and its advanced calculation capability. Flexibility to change it, this is where we touch on our decision support capability of Preactor. So what we're going to do is we're going to explore how we might represent this particular multi-skilled personnel use case of trainers in Preactor. So that brings me to my next slide. And what we have here is a familiar looking Gantt chart, but with some unfamiliar elements. Down the side here, we have names of our trainers, and we also have the names and locations of some training room, right? We have these training rooms are in different places throughout Michigan. And, you know, and I can tell you that at each of these training facilities, whether it's Southfield or Marquette or Grand Rapids, at each of these training facilities, there might be multiple rooms. Here, we've just represented one room per facility. And also, we can see how they pair up. Okay, so for instance, this Let's take this course, 3003, which concerns skip benefits, eligibility, and claims. Angela is going to teach a group of call center representatives about skip benefit, eligibility, and claims. Well, she's going to do that in this particular location, in this particular room in Grand Rapids. Oh, and by the way, Penny is going to be an assistant trainer. Okay, so we can see here Angela as the primary trainer and Penny as the assistant. And in this scenario, Penny is considered a secondary resource and the room is considered a secondary resource and Angela is the primary resource, the primary trainer. Let's see, now over here, we, you know, with this particular course, we, it actually involves, it's a course that involves three classes. Okay, so course 3008 involves a class on provider services and a class on provider relationships. Okay, but they're, they're closely related, these two classes. So Latoya is going to teach both of them, and she's going to teach both of them in the same room in Marquette. And this is a really, really handy way to represent and coordinate the activities of, of very skilled resources, you know, whose time shouldn't be wasted. It should be spent wisely in order to make the best use of other people's time, those who are attaining, those who are attending these classes. So this, this is one way in which Preactor can represent this type of information on its Gantt chart. And because of Preactor's drag and drop capability, there, although this might be, be a Preactor's first cut at scheduling, these training courses and classes, the scheduler, the training scheduler, has the option to flip some things around. For instance, to say, well, you know what, it's going to, is, is it preferable for Jennifer and Angela to switch their courses? And if Jennifer and Angela to switch their courses, and if Angela has the capability to teach this course, and Jennifer has the capability to teach this one, then Preactor will allow the switch. 
If not, then it won't because not every trainer is certified to teach every course, every class. So we've built that information into the model so that we don't create a situation in which, yeah, a person is standing in front of a classroom trying to teach a class that they're unqualified to present. Now, Preactor has a number of ways to represent this information. So, for instance, as you can see, you know, this, this one class, 3003, it's broken up into a number of different bars, you know, one, you know, for the primary, the two secondary resources, this, you know, these two classes are, you know, they're represented here as Latoya's task and also as consuming this room for this time. There's other ways to represent it, and the other way, for instance, would be the trace chart. So when we move over to that, look at, at what happens, and what we do is we gather these things together according to their courses according to their classes and this is can be a very very easy way to see everything that's involved with a single class a very easy way to see its duration so this this is one of several options there's not just one way for a training scheduler to view this to work with the schedule pre-actor offers many views, it offers up here many tools to help accelerate the process of modifying the schedule. And if you're interested, we would really like to have a further conversation with you so that we can discuss those things in greater detail according to what your specific interests and requirements are. So what I'd like to do then is to talk about how this all comes together. I'm talking about this pre-actor software and how it can generate schedules, but what is PMC's role in all this? What are the pieces? How do they fit together? PMC's role is to work with you to create a pre-actor solution for your organization. And all organizations are unique, but generally speaking, the pre-actor solution, whether it is for a company that needs to teach multi-skilled personnel or it needs to produce automotive parts, the solution is going to take a certain broad form, and here's the overview of that. I'm actually going to start in the middle with these pre-actor components, okay? Now these two are in yellow because this is really what you saw represented. This is what you saw represented in the previous screens. You saw the pre-actor application, the software that the scheduler works with, and within that there was a specific pre-actor model, okay? The first model that we saw was a manufacturing model. The second model that we saw, we saw two different screens of that one model concerned our trainers and training rooms. That is what you were looking at in terms of pre-actor components, and pre-actor is software that we resell from Siemens Corporation. It's very stable, it's very mature. And what we're going to do, what PMC will do, is we will help we will help you install the software we will configure the model and also work with your IT department to install the database that runs in the background in which all this information is stored now as you can see there are some other components and some of these components can vary dynamically okay so for instance we can have products routings and orders or, you know, we can have classes and trainers, and this is modified by custom logic into a form that Preactor can absorb. Because we know that although Preactor likes to read this information, you know, it's been in very specifically formatted, comma-separated value files, .csv files. That's not the way enterprises and organizations store and view the information upstream. There can be a number of Excel spreadsheets of ERP systems, of training databases in which that information is stored. In whatever form it takes, PMC, we're adept in absorbing that and running it through our custom logic into a form that the pre-actor application can upload and then the pre-actor model can interpret in order to produce schedules that can be viewed as Gantt charts and as trace charts 
and ultimately as published schedules. Okay, and again, here we see Preactor as a communication tool. And there's a number of ways to distribute these schedules and a number of ways to format them, either for paper reports, for emails, for, for posting to an internal website. Okay, and again, the way we do that, or the way we help your IT department do that, depends upon what your needs, what your requirements are in your organization. So this is how PMC adds value because we have experience in doing this, because we have, and not just experience in doing this and implementing it, but experience in doing the analysis of understanding what needs to be done and how these things should be crafted to provide maximum benefit for the customer for the organization in front of us. So I hope I've opened your eyes to a application of Preactor and of advanced scheduling in general that you might not have seen before.